Hallelujah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Happy Sunday morning to you and happy Father's Day. All those of you that are joining us by audio video. Happy Father's Day. So all our fathers, Feliz Domingo por la mañana y Feliz Día de los Padres. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Yeah. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia de Nuevo Comienzo. So, all we need to do is prepare ourselves to receive yeah. what God has for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Always expect the Father to have something for you. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you know what you do is when you meet with him, you're always just saying, Lord, I just want to say thank you for another day. Amen. Ooh, yeah. yes. Thank you for giving us another day to serve you. Yes. Uh -huh. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. So get yourselves ready to receive. Amen. A happy Father's Day. Uh -huh. grab, your, grab your swords. Yes. Grab your Bibles. Child of God and say it like the mean in church. Amen. No, don't say it like you're mean. <laughs> say it like you mean yes. it. <laughs> this is my Bible. I have what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I've never been the same in Jesus' name. You better believe your mind's alert. And sometimes we just have to renew it yeah. because so many things flying through there and the enemy knows and uh -huh. he tries to put things on you yeah he can't make you do anything but he'll put things there yeah for you to take uh -huh. amen so you know if it's steal kill or destroy just let it go uh -huh. amen jesus says i come that you might have life and have it more yeah. abundantly amen? amen so praise god thank you lord so get yourselves ready to receive i want to be changed and I want to change from glory to glory. Amen. Amen. We're walking through this land on our way to heaven singing hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> We're in this world, but not of this world. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So happy Father's Day. Let me see some more. It says, thanks, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Oh, I love this. My best one here. <laughs> uh, keep going. There we go. Father, it's fun. Brave, patient, hero. He's wise and he's caring. Amen. Amen. Ooh, Amen. 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 Give me some more. <coughs> Feliz día del padre. Feliz día de los padres. El Señor te bendiga y te guarde. Números 624. Keep going. Ooh. It says, Happy Father's Day. Direct your children into the right path, and when they're old, <coughs> they will not depart from Amen. it. So, as parents, Father, mothers, we are to direct the children the way they should go. When they're old, they won't depart right. from what they've been taught. Amen. Yeah. You know, as, as Patricia and I, we taught uh, uh, children's pastors for almost 30 years. And we saw children, and we saw children come and children change, how God changed them. And we had parents come to us all the time telling us, I don't know what you've done, but my children have changed. Amen? So, what I'm saying is, we need to teach them the way they should go. We need to teach them the, word, the, the, the things of God, the Word of God, so that they know where to go to. Amen? It's in them now, you know? And they know they can go in and, and rely on this. When they know they have a God, you know, that's greater than any problems they're facing, yes. they can go to God. And we have parents just come and tell us, you know, our children have changed. Our children are totally changed. And people coming, parents coming to God because they saw the change in their children. Amen. So praise God. The word of God works if you work it. Amen. So church, be encouraged, be uh, uh, blessed, and be changed. Amen. Amen. So praise God. This is for us to do. Keep going. May all come to know the love of God the Father. Happy Father's Day. Inspired in Romans 8.15. Amen. Amen. So mark those down. We're going to have a lot of scripture. You can just mark those down and go back to them. Go ahead. All right. You're talking about the first heavenly father. God. For God so loved the world that he gave. He gave. He gave us Jesus. Amen. He gave his only son. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He lost us. He got us back. Amen. He sacrificed his son. So he knows 
The Father knows. Amen. He's our Heavenly Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Keep going. Okay, we're going to stop right there. Amen. So today we want to uh, honor our fathers. And of course, uh, Lord gave us Ten Commandments. Commandments are not just uh, suggestions. Commandments are a command that we must do. So the Fifth Commandment tells us, and uh, this one here in Exodus 20 and 12 says, Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God, which the Lord your God gives you. Amen? So we are to honor them. It didn't say uh, in extension there, it didn't put on there, uh, i.e., uh, if they're good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amen. It didn't give any other excuses. Uh -huh. Just says, honor your father and mother. So then we go honor our fathers. Amen. Amen. But this is for us to know. He's telling his children, we are his children. Amen. So praise God. And uh, keep going. Deuteronomy 5.16 says, again, honor thy father and thy mother as the Lord thy God has commanded thee uh -huh. that thy days may be prolonged and that yeah. it may go well with thee yeah. in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Amen. And of course that's in uh, the yeah. King James. So if you want to live long a long life <laughs> do what the word of God says. Yeah. It makes it easier for us. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so praise God. Listen to this in the uh, easy to read version in uh, Ephesians. Now you can go, go one more. There we go. Ephesians uh, 6, 1 and 3 says, Children, obey your parents the way the Lord wants because this is the right thing to do. Uh -huh. The commandment or the command says, You must honor, respect your father and mother. Mm -hmm. This is the first command that has a promise with it. And this is the promise. That all will go well with you uh -huh. and you will have long life on the earth amen. we have a choice yes, we do. amen the enemy will come and try to steal kill and destroy your relationship he tries to divide us he tries to separate us yes. but we must remain and honor them because yes. the word of god tells us to amen, amen. praise god i just read it from the easier read version we celebrate father's day once a year God has given each one of us the best father. <laughs> Your father should be the best thing for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. We call him father. Let me, let me read it the way I wrote it here. So God has given each one of us the best gift. We call him father. Mm -hmm. None of our fathers are perfect. Even the best fathers have a flaws. Oh, yeah. Imperfections, mistakes, weakness, failings. Mm -hmm. But on Father's Day, we focus on the good. Yeah. You know, the world, people will always look at the negative. Uh -huh. They'll look at the, the bad or the worst. Yes. We need to know how to forgive and forget just like a Heavenly Father does. Amen. Amen. So, I'm getting way ahead of myself, but here we go. Perhaps your father is still alive. Praise God. Thank you for giving me the best gift. Amen. If he's still alive, you need to call him and let him know. Happy Father's Day. Maybe he's already in heaven still. Thank you, Father. I had the best father. Amen. Praise God. And I, I, I told him, talked to him this morning. I don't know if he can hear me. I'm sure he can, but I just said, Happy Father's Day, Dad. Honor him, no excuses. It's a command from God. And he's given us a fifth commandment to do that. If he's still alive, listen to those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening. Visit him, call him, write him, text him, email him. <laughs> and there's so many ways to stay in touch nowadays. Oh, Amen. There's no excuse. Yeah, that's right. Listen, love, accept, forgive, and honor him. Right. Fix what is wrong. Yeah. You have a choice. Amen. <laughs> we got to love the unlovely oh, because the word of God tells us to. Yeah. Right. You can fix it. Two wrongs can't make it right. Right. Amen. Amen. You make it right. Amen. You want to live long. <laughs> I want to live long. <laughs> forget the past. Can't fix the past. You want to forget, for, uh, fix the, for, the past. Forget about it. Fix today and it will fix the future. Yes. Amen. It's called relationship. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
Fix your relationship with your heavenly father. Amen. 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 Fix your relationship with your heavenly father and your earthly father. Yes. Amen. It's up to you to do this. No one else can do it for you. Except love, accept, forgive, and honor him. Yeah. Because of what God has done this day. We need to fix this. That's this is your choice. <laughs> I don't think I need to say what I want to say. But this morning, <laughs> I just want to take a look at our perfect Father, our Heavenly Father. All right. And of course, we already yeah. saw John 3, 16. Uh -huh. He's our first Heavenly Father that He gave. He gave Heavenly Father. We honor Him daily, not yearly, not when we feel like it or when we want to or when we remember. But we honor Him daily. Yes. Give him thanks and give him praise on a daily basis. Amen. You know, when you have a relationship, first thing you need to do is when you woke up, you open these beautiful gifts, the two beautiful gifts he gave you, those eyes, mm -hmm. and you see the new day, you say, thank you, Lord, for blessing me with a new day. Mm -hmm. This is the day the Lord has made. I will yes. rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. If you're not rejoicing, something's wrong. we got to fix it. There's nothing wrong on his part. we got to fix our part. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> Don't let situations or the weather dictate what kind of day you're going right, to have. Right. Amen. I'm going to have a godly day. Amen. <laughs> somebody took the good morning. Somebody took the good and, excuse me, somebody took God morning <laughs> and made it a good morning. They just added another O to it. So <laughs> now it's a good morning instead of a, a God morning. Amen. To us, the believers, it should be a God morning to us. Amen. Amen. You probably freak somebody out if you told them good morning. <laughs> so what are you talking about? You talking about good morning? No, uh -oh, I'm talking about my God. It's a God morning to me. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so praise God. But you're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Praise yes, God. Amen. Lord. Yes, God gave us ten commandments. It's, it's a command. It's not a suggestion. If you want to, or if you feel like it. But the fifth commandment teaches us how to honor and respect our father and mother. Mm -hmm. It's also first commandment with the promise live long life amen. amen so that's why i want to do it one reason god includes this is because in his command we tend to uh, run against human nature mm -hmm. we always want to go opposite our tendency is to fight authority disrespect <coughs> dishonor we want to fight god's authority we want to fight parents authority we want to fight uh uh those uh Policemen, the teachers, the elders, our neighbors, and sometimes even our pastors. <laughs> we want to be free. We don't want nobody telling us what to do. The prodigal son went to the father and says, Hey, Dad, just give me what's coming to me, and, and I want to go. I want to be free. I don't want nobody to tell me anything. Jonah, what God told Jonah, he says, go and do this. Jonah says, no, I'm going this way. God says, go this way. He says, no, I'm going this way. We want to do our own thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. We must submit, commit, and be obedient to what God has called us to do. Mm -hmm. We're sent here for a reason. Mm -hmm. He has a plan. He blessed his plans for us to have. And if you obey his plans, you're going to succeed. You're yeah. going to fulfill the mission he's given us. Amen. He's approved you. He's qualified you. He's given you everything that you need to fulfill whatever plans he's given you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So praise God, we want to honor our fathers. Some fathers have celebrated many Father's Days. And of course, we want to honor Mr. Pete, or Brother Pete, whatever you want to call him. But Mr. Pete has probably celebrated more Father's Days than <laughs> anybody else here. Amen. So praise God. Thank you. We also want to honor the first dads. You know, I don't know. Yes. But we want to honor, if this is your first time as a dad, you're listening, you're watching. Uh, we want to say happy Father's Day. This is going to be your first one, but that that's okay. It's awesome. Anyway, congratulations to all fathers. Mm -hmm. Father's Day, we focus on the good qualities, examples, talents, and abilities. Mm -hmm. Don't dwell on the bad. Yeah. I have family. I have uh, friends I know. And every time we meet, first thing they talk about is the bad things oh, that Jose did way back. <laughs> <laughs> They still remember me by the bad things I did. They don't even see the good things. They don't even see the God in me. 
They don't see the Christ light. They only see the bad. And they still see me that way. Some of them still see me as a young boy. They don't see me what God has called me to be. Amen. And we need to see people and treat people the way we'd like to be treated. Right. Amen. Amen. When you start treating people right, it's going to come back to you. Yes. Amen. So remember that. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't quit. Just keep pressing on. He says, press on. Press on. Amen. <laughs> Have good memories. Remember the recollections. Yes. You know, I always tell people, you know, say, hey, you know, you lost a loved one, but you have great memories. Mm -hmm. Remember. Remember these great memories that you have. Amen. Forgetting the past, past hurts, past mistakes, or past imperfections. Remember, fifth commandment, honor your father and mother. Forgive, forget. <laughs> if Jesus can forgive and forget us, who are we to hold anything against anyone? Amen. <laughs> Let it go. Whether you're a biological father and mother, a stepfather or a stepmom, an adoptive father or mother, I don't know if I should say this, but <laughs> on Mother's Day, I called this lady and I, and, I, and I met this lady at the post office. I opened the door for her and I said, Happy Mother's Day. This was Monday after uh, Mother's Day, Sunday. And uh, she says, I'm not a mother. But I've raised children for others. And she says, I have pets too. <laughs> I said, so, here, so you're a pet mother. <laughs> so to all fathers that are listening or watching, a happy pets Father's Day to you. <laughs> so if you help raise somebody else's children, hey, we want to say thank you for helping raise those yes, children. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you very much. To all fathers and mothers, be the best father and mother you can be. Uh -huh. God has placed you, has placed these children in your care. Yes. Take ownership. Amen. Children receive your father and your mother. Joseph was a stepfather, but he received Jesus as uh -huh. his own. I'm going to read you a little story here in a few minutes. So I'm a stepfather, and I'm an adopted father also. And I want you to know that I love my children. I don't call my stepchildren. I don't call my son my adopted son. I just call him my son. Yes, amen. 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 Praise God. I want to be the best dad I can be. Praise God. Amen. So God says no stepchildren. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's got us. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. Just know you're God's favorite child. I'm God's favorite child. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? Jesus is our brother. <laughs> so praise God. You don't want to make people mad? Just let them know that. And then say, what are you talking about? Well, you haven't been reading my Bible. <laughs> you haven't been reading the right Bible. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. God chose Joseph as an earthly father of Jesus. The Bible tells us in the Gospel of Matthew that Joseph was the righteous man. His actions towards Mary, his fiance, revealed he was a kind and sensitive man. When Mary told Joseph she was pregnant, he had every right to feel disgraced. He knew the child was not his own. And Mary's Apparent unfaithfulness carried a grave social stigma. Joseph not only had the right to divorce Mary under Jewish laws, he could also put her to death by stoning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, Joseph's initi uh, initial reactions was to break the engagement, the appropriate thing for a righteous man to do. He treated Mary with extreme kindness. He did not want to cause her future shame. So he decided to act quietly, but God sent an angel to Joseph to verify Mary's story and reassure him that his marriage to Mary was God's will. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Joseph willingly obeyed God in spite of public humiliation he faced. Yeah. Amen. Perhaps a noble quality made him God's choice. For the Messiah's earthly father. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. You know, God sees you no matter what people think of you, no matter what people said, 
no matter what you've been going through, you know, God knows you. Yeah. And he, you know, he knows the worst about us and he still loves us the most. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God, amen. You know, so, you know, when you start thinking that way, just know, <laughs> all I can do is just say thank you and praise you, Father. Thank you for loving me. Yeah. And I want to do my best for you. Yeah. Be the best child of God you can be. And be the best father that you can be. So today we're going to talk about the perfect father. Yeah. Amen. My hopes are that Father would want to be more like him. Mm -hmm. And that all of us would put our hopes in him. He is the best father that we ought to imitate him. Mm -hmm. Amen. In yeah. Ephesians 1. In Ephesians 1, 5 through uh, 2, this one says 3. It says, Children, the New King James, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for yeah. this is the right thing. Honor your father and your mother, yeah. which is the first commandment with the promise, that it may be well with you, uh -huh. and then you may live long on the earth. Yeah. And we are to be imitators of him. I've had a lot of people say, hey, this is the way I was born, and nothing, no one is going to change me. You're right. Yeah. No one's going to change you because you got to change yourself. Amen. 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 If you know the truth and you get the truth in you, uh -huh. the truth is going to set you free yes. from all those mindsets you have, all those yes. traditions that you know about. It's going to set you free, and you're going to know what the Word of God says so you can start imitating your Heavenly Father Amen. and no longer be trapped and be uh, like that anymore. Amen. But if you're saying this is the way you were born and the way you're going to be and no one is going to change you, you're right. You can have what you say. Yeah. Amen. Remember to celebrate and honor your Heavenly Father daily. Our Father has great expectation for His children. John 3.16 that we read a few minutes ago says, It's God's plan of salvation. It shows us that He did this for us. He gave His Son so that we could be saved. And it shows us that He expects what He expects from us. That whosoever believeth in Him should not perish. Yeah. We have a role to play with our salvation. God expects us to believe in Him, and He wants us to do something. On a daily basis, yeah. we need to spend time with Him before we step out into the world. Yeah. And we step out in faith, knowing that greater is He that is in us yeah. than He that is in the world. Amen. Amen? I don't care what giants you face on a daily basis, our God is bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? But when you have that in you, Nothing can stop you, amen, except yeah. yourself. And you allow the world to come in, that'll stop you. He doesn't expect more than we can give, but he doesn't expect us, excuse me, he doesn't expect more than we can give, but he does expect us to do what we can, amen? Mm -hmm. Amen, he wants us to do something. Yeah. And that is yeah. to step out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when... Uh, Peter asked to come where Jesus was, and he was walking on water. Mm. But Jesus says, come. And when he called us, he, he says, come. And he's provided everything that he provided for Peter to walk on water. Mm. He's provided for us to fulfill whatever mission we have. Whatever mission he's given us, he says, come. I'm calling you. I'm calling you. Every one of you, those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, He's called you, and he's equipped you to fulfill what he's ever he's called you to do. Amen? So we are to be participators and not spectators. Yeah. Yeah. When you start yeah. spectating, you start judging, and you start competing. Yeah. And it, that, that's not what he's called us to do. He's called us to be participators and imitators of him. Yeah. Your God imitated going somewhere to happen for somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen? Release them from whatever bondage they're in. Just give them a kind word. Speak the word, and they shall be free. Amen? Yeah. So being believers in him, a good father has certain expectations of his father, of his children, certain requirements that they must, that they, uh, must meet. He is unreason unreasonable about it. He isn't unreasonable about it. He doesn't demand more than his children can give. Uh -huh. But he does require a certain level of responsibility from his children. Uh -huh. So a father has five roles he plays to fulfill. He is a provider. He is a disciplinarian. He is my security. Uh -huh. He is personal. Yeah. And he's always, always, always there. 
Amen. Amen. My provider. There we go. He's my provider. Man has a responsibility to provide for his family. He is the head of the family. God is our head and we are his body. So we are the body of Christ. Amen. But we are to be there for him. And he tells us and we go. Amen. Amen. Matthew 7, 9 through 11. In the easy to read version says, do any of you, do any of you have a son? If he asks for bread, would you give him a rock? Or if he asks you for a fish, would you give him a snake? Of course not. You people are not so bad, but you still know how to give good things to your children. So surely your heavenly Father will give you good things to those who ask him. Amen. Ask, and you shall receive. Amen? Amen. Of course, as we walk with him, he says, Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek him first on a daily basis as you walk your walk. God promised to provide these things we need if we seek his kingdom, yes. if we seek him first. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He's my disciplinarian. <laughs> Listen, you're a God's children. You are, you are children of God. He is speaking words of comfort to you. You have forgotten. You, you have forgotten these things. Amen. Me. The children, the Lord disciplines everyone he loves. He punishes everyone he accepts as a child. So accept his suffering like, like a, a father's discipline. God does these things to you like a father correcting his children. You know that all children are disciplined by, by their father. So if you never receive this discipline that every child must have, you are not truly child and don't really belong to God. We must all have, we all had fathers here on earth who correct us and discipline us and we respect them, not abuse, but correct it. So if uh, even more important that we accept discipline from our heavenly father, if we do this, yeah. we will have life. Our Father on earth disciplined us for a short time uh -huh. in the way they thought us best. Yeah. But God disciplines us to help us so that we can be holy like him and imitate him. Yeah. We don't enjoy discipline when we get it. It's painful. But later, we have learned our lesson from it. We will enjoy the peace that comes from doing what is right. Amen. So God disciplines his children. Amen. Just like a father disciplines his children. It's needed. Amen. Amen. Some people, I find some people say, hey, I got disciplined when I was young, but I'm not going to do anything or discipline my children. Yeah. Well, the Bible says you spare the rod, you spoil the child. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes you got to discipline the child. It didn't say abuse the child. It says yeah. discipline the child. That's right. Amen. So praise God. Amen. 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 Yep. I've heard a lot of old folks say, <laughs> I've been taken to the woodshed. Well, I've been, I've, I've been there a lot of times. <laughs> My parents loved me a whole lot. <laughs> I don't say spent a lot of time in the woodshed. <laughs> praise God. He's my security. Father is my protector. Dad, see yourself as a protector for his children. A father should see himself as a, as a protector for his children. Yes. God is a safe haven to run to when we feel insecure and afraid. <laughs> Job couldn't have been afflicted with God, without God's giving the devil permission. The right. devil had to go to God and ask permission right. to go against Job. Yeah. Amen? So, guess what? He loves us. He says, yes. as a perfect father, God is our protector. Uh -huh. And he is very, very personal. Yes, yes. Uh, Deuteronomy 4 and 24 says, for the Lord your God is a consuming fire. He is jealous. Yes. Let me read this to you in the easy to read version. Because the Lord your God hates for his people to worship other gods. And he can be like a fire that destroys. He doesn't want us worshiping other gods. Amen. Amen. So when you know this truth, you don't do it anymore. Amen. You don't do this anymore. So praise God. He is also... He's always there for us. 
Not only is it good to know that God is personal, but it's good to know that he is present. Yes, in the yes. world where so many fathers are characterized as absentee dads, yeah. it's good to know that our Heavenly Father yes. is Thank always you, there for us. Amen. He says he never leaves us nor Our forsakes us. Right. Know that he is there. If you know it, it's because you broke relationship. Uh -huh. You need to get that relationship right with your Heavenly Father. Spend time with him. Yes. Amen? Because he's always there and he's always knocking, but we're not letting him in. We break loose and we let the world in. Amen? When we change our priorities, we start letting the world in. So it's time to change our priorities. Matthew 6, 33. Seek him first. When you yeah. start to seek him first, that relationship starts. Yeah. Amen? And we know that we he is with us. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> so in closing, Amen. <laughs> he said, we barely touch the surface of who uh, our right. Father is. He is our perfect Heavenly Father. He is a Father you always wanted. He is a Father who is available to you. And He is a Father who will gladly adopt you into His family. You know, those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, maybe you've never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Well, this is the time to make Him your Heavenly Father and receive Him as your Lord and Savior. Amen? Just say, Lord Jesus, I've done you wrong. I've sinned against you. Repent. And invite him to come into your life and be your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And he will. He yeah. says he'll adopt you into his family. Yeah. And he wants to make you his own. Uh -huh. Amen. So we need to come to him. Yes. Amen. So I challenge, fathers, I challenge you to be the providers for your families. Discipline your children. Train them the way they should go. Yes. To be godly children. Protect them to be Protect them to be mm, excuse me. Be personal, involved in details of their lives. Be there. Fight against being absence in their lives. They need you there. You need to be the imitator of God, asking him to make you to be more like him. You'll never be God, but you can grow in his character. Yes. Since your children want to be just like you, you need to be more like God. Yes. And yes. imitate him yes. more. That's Amen? Right. That's right. So if you're here today, as a father, all you need to do is ask God, Lord, help me to be the father I need to be for my children. Amen? And he's there. He's here. He wants to minister to you this morning. Wherever you happen to be, he's not going to fail you. He's going to be there for you. Amen. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Father, I just pray right now over all the fathers that are watching, all the fathers that are listening, Father. Help us all, Father God, all those that are here to be the fathers that we need to be, to be more Christ-like, to be more imitators of you, Father God, to be the fathers and husbands we need to be, Father God. And Lord, we just give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor, Lord. Meet every need. All those things, Father, in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Praise God.